trauma-informed provider understands that each patient is the expert on their own life and experiences. They recognize that sometimes the best solution isn't the most obvious one. It's about finding what truly works for each person, even if it doesn't take that traditional approach. Once when I was searching for a therapist, I hesitated to say I was transgender. I've had lots of experiences where when I share that fact about myself, it becomes the sole focus of my care, even if it doesn't have anything to do with why I wanna be seen. When I did share that I was trans with this provider, he tried to end the interview and refer me to someone who specialized in working with transgender people. I had to convince him to finish the intake, which he did, but never contacted me again for a follow-up appointment, and I never went back. I've experienced a lot of situations where I've been offered as a teaching tool since providers may not have encountered a lot of trans folks, so there are extra people in the room during exams or during intake questions. I'm rarely asked if this is okay, it's just like the more the merrier, I guess. I think there have been times when I've received exams or tests that I didn't even need just because the medical staff was curious. In those moments, I have to weigh the risk of being mistreated or denied care if I say something. I've heard so many stories about providers stopping or denying care to trans people that I just don't wanna push back when I'm already so vulnerable. What I want medical providers to understand is that seeking care is already an anxiety-filled experience for trans people in general. Discrimination and gatekeeping are harsh realities we face in healthcare. It's not just about sick, being sick or hurt, it's about navigating a system that often doesn't recognize or respect our identities. Trans people often face indignities, and these are amplified when intersected with race, socioeconomic status, or other factors. One misstep from a provider can elicit a strong response because we're constantly on guard due to who we are. It's a complex and emotionally charged situation, especially in a world where some lawmakers and faith leaders, and even our neighbors, challenge the legitimacy of our identities. Every day we carry these burdens with us when seeking care. Our trust in providers can be fragile. Trauma-informed care has to be more than just a buzzword. It has to be continued actions that create a more inclusive and compassionate healthcare environment. As a trans person, I have had my fair share of rough experiences within the healthcare system. So I definitely remember when the experience is positive. There was this one provider who had an incredible ability to make me feel safe and understood. It's something I wish every healthcare professional could do. It was clear that he had experience working with transgender patients, which meant that I didn't have to explain the basics of what it meant to be trans or why I had undergone certain surgeries or was on certain medications. We actually did an organ inventory, focusing on what parts I had instead of him assuming based on my sex at birth. And because we did this, we avoided language about my body and my identity that would have been upsetting for me to hear. A trauma-informed provider is someone who thinks about the little things that end up making a big impact, checking in periodically, setting clear expectations, and genuinely listening to patients.